So here's a question from a number seven. It's a woman. And she says, how can I move past shyness and live up to my full potential? I have a lot of projects I can easily conquer, but my need for perfection seems to keep me from even starting. What you got on that, Keymakers? That's a number seven. Now, hold on this. I'm going to give a quick, a quick, uh, hold this again. A quick uh, button and call it my, my one of my joy buttons, and this is only to be used at specific spaces because if you take it outside of that perspective, you can tarnish other relationships within yourself. Like this, have a joy button again, being a perfectionist, like meaning that you've seen perfection within yourself before. So those moments still are here, not to be you know uh, used in every moment because that would create the type of ego type. No, I, I'm this, I'm this, but you need to remember. So it's a button that you hit, you find within yourself that picture, remind you of that thing, just to get you to try again, like it's a joy we were saying. Try it three times. Try it again. Think about, okay, I've seen what it felt like. Okay, I, I know I can do it. Okay, let me, let me try it again. So you try and you give it an earnest try. You really have to, like, you know how you created that other you know, medium of perfection within yourself last time. It didn't happen by chance. Or if you did do it, try to recreate some of those elements that were there within that space. But try again. Try again. Onus. All right, Onus. Yeah, um, I wanted to add to that. Thank you for that, brother. I wanted to add to that for the for the seven. You know, on the path, shyness um, is interesting as a seven because, you know, your quality is to be brave and take risks. You know, and again, dealing with a seven and going through all these experiences, you're going to go through experiences that many have not. And so you have to be open to those experiences and you have to be just willing to step out, you know, on yourself, you know, and, and take a chance on yourself because you are the greatest potential, you know. So getting out of that shyness just by, you know, um, I don't know, maybe now it might not be a good idea, but going out to events, meeting new people, things of that nature. Um, and again, going back to what we said earlier with the other sister, telling stories, telling story about telling a story about yourself, practice on doing that. You know, even if it means you have to record something, you know, for yourself and listen to it. I know that sounds weird. A lot of people don't like to listen to themselves. But, but, you know, you, you want to get into the habit of doing that so that you can train yourself, you know, to hear how you sound, you know, and then you practice on other people. So it's, it's those kind of steps that you can do, you know, and this is for anyone dealing with shyness is practice on doing things yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. If you're uncomfortable with how you look in the mirror, you know what I mean? Then you got some internal work to do, but look at yourself in the mirror, be proud of who you are, say what you got to say. And practice on doing it in the background before you do it with other people. That also helps build up your confidence. You know, it helps you spiritually as well. So those are things that you, you know, you got to do as a seven, you know, is embrace those experiences and just be bold with it. You know, that's a gift for a seven. So giving thanks. I'll definitely say also as a, you know, as a shy perfectionist that for sure it, it doesn't, it doesn't ever stop this feeling that when you're about to go live or you're about to do something or you're about to be in front of people that there's like a nervousness. And in fact, they did this interview with a lot of the stars and actors, et cetera, or whatever they're calling themselves these days. And they all bear witness to the same thing. So it's only consistent repetition that will allow you to brave that part. So that way you get more familiar with, because what will happen is, is that you'll bomb a few times anyway. And live is the most dangerous because whatever you do here, like if I pick the nose right now, it's going live. So, you, you know, it, you can slip on this. And because of that, it also produces this little, a bit more of the nervousness. So I found that the only way that was ultimately I was ultimately able to get beyond it was stop trying to get beyond it. Just kind of accept that everybody jumps on here like I see it all the time when anybody goes live. Now, what you've probably been watching is a lot of post stuff. So when you're seeing someone, they're, they're in the timeline, they're changing stuff that you won't even know they changed. And then you're like, man, they know how to deliver themselves so perfectly. Was it live? Because if it's not live, then you'll get a chance to see just how many weird expressions and how many interrupting moments and how many answering the question a totally wrong way. What was the question? Forgetting about things. 
all of this is natural. And then it's also to remember that now is also different um, because, you know, you're saying projects. And so we're kind of speaking, you know, very open ended here. We're even assuming that maybe you want to jump on YouTube with this project. I think that ultimately anything you're representing ends up with you in front of a camera. So that's why I'm just speaking about this directly. Um, and yeah, so I just word to the wise on this, that the shyness, it never really stops. And in fact, you learn it. That's actually excitement, to be honest. Uh, I realized ultimately that what that really was is excitement. And there's a way to cultivate that even like breathing it up. And uh, because there is a moment that if it sinks too far down, then it's like, why am I even doing this? Why am I even here? But if you could keep it at the proper medium, it's like a it's like a thrill. It's like the same thing that a person would have when they're about to jump off a mountain in one of them flying suits. It's that same feeling. So you got to remember that a lot of people who have braved very um, enduring things and do that on a continuous basis. Like I'm sure when someone jumps into an ambulance, even the driver every day when he jumps in and he's going to race through town, I'm sure he's feeling a little like, OK, you know, this is a uh, he may have what we would call a shyness or a nervousness about going in and doing what he has to do all the time. So, yeah, tr you know, just get your skills together and keep diving in. I want to add to that, too. Um, I think everything, you know, everyone has said has been lovely. And I want to remind everybody that we are live here. We are not practicing. We are not rehearsing. And so, like Seven said, you know, whatever goes down, goes down. And uh, I know I have nerves, right? So it is definitely something that we all work through. And as a seven and a social uh, number, is I encourage you to seek out a group perhaps that could um, offer you some space for practicing and feedback in a safe space. So if you're an entertainer, you know, look for, I know uh, Sister Paige hosts these open mics that are um, a lovely space, right? There are a lot of community open mics. And of course we have um, Secret Energy, we have uh, Sovereignty uh, membership, mentorship, and our ambassador training. And I can say for me, that has been a wonderful space to become more comfortable in getting out in the front and doing something like this. I wouldn't have dreamed that I would be doing this either uh, just, you know, a couple of years ago. And so it is part of your growth and expansion. Absolutely advocate for practice. Um, by yourself in front of a mirror. There's a lot of recording apparatus that are out there. You can record and look back. Um, and then again, nothing is going to replace that time where you get in front of someone, actually, if that is what you're doing. Uh, children are a wonderful audience. Um, they are very forgiving and, uh, you know, just love to be entertained. So they're nice ones to get in front of as well, just to kind of cut your teeth um, if that's what you're looking for. So, you know, we all support you in whatever you're doing. Um, and I want to see it. So let's get to it. <laughs>